Without saying, but what a win on the weekend. Yeah, it was a fantastic win. Um, we didn't play at our best. We started really well, which we haven't in previous weeks. But, um, yeah, it was good to get the win. And um, we didn't play at our best, but, um, yeah, it's good signs. And your own performance? I mean, do you think that goes up as one of the best games of your career? Um, I probably wouldn't say it's the best game of my career. It's um, certainly up there. Um, but I guess it's just the forwards working so well together at the moment. And um, we're not so reliant on one person. And we've got so many avenues to goal, which has sort of helped me in a way. And, um, sort of taking some pressure off in a way, but it's um, it's certainly exciting to be playing forward with forward with the likes of uh, Charlie Cameron, Lincoln McCarthy, and Demick Stay as well. He's popping up a fair bit, and then even Big O when he's down there. So it's um, it's certainly exciting to be able to play with those guys. Can you just elaborate on that a bit, Eric? Like that's a quite a new mix with Charlie coming back this year. Obviously, Link's new, but you seem to have formed a pretty good. Chemistry. Yeah, certainly right. Um, I guess you can be a bit lonely down there when you're losing by 10 goals, it was like in previous years. But I guess you look at the best sides like Collingwood and Richmond, their, their forward line's electric and there's so many avenues to go when you look at their, their team. So that's what we've sort of cre tried to create and um, I guess it's just trying to be unpredictable to their defenders and I guess if someone's having a poor week, we're not so reliant on him and it's about having different avenues to go. What is it about the last five minutes of the last couple of games, there's been this explosion of goal scoring and coming over the top of teams. What's going on there? Um, I think back to our physio staff and um, just, I guess, our coaches. They've, we've had so many numbers out in the track this pre-season and it's um, been real competitive for spots, but it's also made us be able to run out games. Um, and I think in previous years, we've, um, uh, we've sort of looked at our pre-season and thought that's a real growth for us. Um, we've sort of um, haven't had the greatest starts to, to the years in previous years. so. Um, I guess our pre-season was a uh, massive emphasis on starting well and um, I guess that's delivered so far. When you fell behind um, in that fourth quarter, mate, was it a little bit of a case of, you know, don't worry boys, we've been down by a lot more in the last two weeks? Um, I think it was just sticking to our process and knowing and trusting that if we um, are able to stick to our process that we will, the result will look after itself and um, don't panic and we've sort of um, done scenarios like that at training, so we sort of were under control. And I guess when you got the likes of Luke Hodge out there, sort of keeping it composed, and uh, even our other leaders like Dane Zulko standing up, it's just those little leaders um, sort of understanding the situation and going from there. Do you sense that change in belief uh, over previous years? Um, yes and no. I sort of, I always believed that we could win in previous years, and always felt like that um, when we were in similar stages, but. I guess when we're running out, games is better than ever. And I think last year we lost, I think it was about six games under seven points. Um, it was sort of, um, I guess, our season to find in that because we lost so many games within that. So it was a bit disappointing. But it's, um, yeah, fantastic now. We're starting to win those close games and close battles. So it's a good sign. And as you said, you sort of won ugly, I guess. But is that, what does that show about the team, that you can win while playing well below your best? Yeah, it, it is a good sign, and uh, I think Port scouted us pretty well. Um, but it just shows that if we aren't at our best, we, we can still match it, and there are still um, different ways that we can play with our game plan. So going this week into Essendon, mate, um, how do you get back to your best? Um, I think it's just reviewing the game, um, looking at how Port sort of defended us, and um, just sticking to our process, really. Um, understand that our best can be so high, but our worst is so low. But um, it's just sticking to our process and understanding and making sure we're all 22 players on the same page and what we're doing. That is a, another big challenge for the club to go to the G against a, a big Melbourne club. If you get a result, the lid's got to be off, surely. <laughs> like you guys love talking about the lid, don't you? But nah, <laughs> um, nah it, it's certainly exciting. We've had, I guess I've only played a couple games at the G and I'm sure other players haven't really played many with a, such a young emer emerging group. So. Um, it is going to be a real exciting play at the G and I'm certainly looking forward to it. I've only played a couple of games and um, I can't wait to get back out there.